Tonight, 30 years after ground was broken for the Vietnam Veterans Memorial, Barry Peterson returns with the vet who founded the wall. When people leave things at the wall, people let go of their grief. And that's what a lot of this is all about, people saying goodbye. Jan Scruggs conceived the idea of building the Vietnam Veterans Memorial, but he never dreamed so many mementos would be left by visitors to the wall that a warehouse would be needed to store them. 300,000 items, actually more. A pair of boots. Richard K. Harper. A letter about Henry Lee Bradshaw. He was killed by an AK-47. Hats, purple hearts, so many dog tags. These dog tags were in the country of Vietnam around the necks of these soldiers. These are authentic. Scruggs, a Vietnam veteran, started the memorial project with $2,800 of his own money. He went on to raise $8 million. It was so sad whenever anybody died in Vietnam because you just had a feeling nobody would ever remember them. And that's why I had to have the names up there. More than 58,000 names. One of them, Lieutenant Colonel Anthony Shine. The Air Force pilot was listed as missing in action in 1972. I think it's a place of honor. His daughter, Colleen Shine, was eight at the time. What's it like, even now, to just see his name there? I think one of the most amazing qualities of the wall is that you see yourself in it. I see my father's name here, and he's no longer living, and his legacy is living. That reflection is me. The wall is also for those too young to remember Vietnam, but old enough to learn about the troops who died there. On the day of our visit to the Memorial Wall, we found letters left by elementary school students. This one, written by a sixth grader named Michael, was addressed to Marine Michael Vasquez. And thank you once again from Michael. And thank you. Yeah. And would you have imagined that many years ago that a school child named Michael would write a letter to a casualty of Vietnam and say, thank you. It's, it's an amazing thing. For Jan Scruggs, remembering those lost was a comrade's debt of honor. And with every touch, with every memory left behind, that debt is being paid. Barry Peterson, CBS News, Washington, D.C.